Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I wanted to um, show you how I turn my uh, under, sto uh, under um, stair storage into a entertainment closet. Um, I've, obviously we all have, um, if you have a basement you have an under stair storage and mine was used for many years as for Christmas and seasonal decorations but uh, uh, my seasonal decorations have grown so they no longer fit underneath so I had um, a different area set up for that but now um, I had this area and I was just kind of just putting stuff like uh, paper plates and paper cup uh, plastic cups and things like that in there and so I decided to do to make an entertainment closet type of thing where I put all of my uh, entertainment um, entertaining not entertainment entertaining uh, supplies so trays um, salad bowls that I don't use on a regular basis so I had um, cleaned it out I had my husband build some shelves and um, I put all of my supplies in there so uh, come along and uh, I hope you enjoy the process uh, and um, the end result so thank you for watching and if you are new I would love for you to subscribe hit that bell button so you don't miss out any of my videos until next time have a great day After we're done cleaning, uh, starting installing the shelves. So the first shelf is here. We're just using like a live edge pine, really inexpensive. I think each piece was seven dollars at Home Depot. Sorry, the lighting is awful here. And uh, so I think I'm gonna put two long ones and two short ones just on the one side because I'm not gonna put anything on this side. So I have some walking room, and I want to put my big bin with outdoor cushions here as well. So here it is, all finished. I have managed to put four shelves, well, my husband did. So, and now I'm gonna put the stuff back.
so here it is all done I think it had turned out pretty good definitely a lot better than what it was so let's start up top so I have my bread basket and some napkins then I have my um, hot dip and brie cookers uh, you can also do brie here um, just some bowls, cheese cutters, more bowls, and then just a whole bunch of different serving trays going all the way down. Then I got some summer pitchers, and then I have ice buckets, some extra, just move out of the way so I get more light, extra paper plates. I'm actually considering buying a clear large bin that I can put all of my extra uh, paper cu um, plastic cups paper cups and plates in it so that way I can just pull the whole bin out and I can see what's in there and then I have ice buckets and then some white plates and serving trays then I have a punch dish over there bowl and some just some trays uh, extra ziploc bags and then I have the extra cutlery and cups there um, so I think, like I said, I wanted to to make this. Um, I wish it was a little bit bigger for sure, but I think for right now it does serve its purpose. I was a little bit too scared to put too much heavy stuff on these shelves because I was w worried that was they were gonna collapse. Um, but so I tried to space it out so it's not all heavy, and that's why the really heavy trays are right there on the bottom. So, and then the stack of uh, big plates on the bottom because those were pretty heavy. So yeah, so I think this is a pretty much the last room that I had to um, organize in this house. So and I'm very pleased with the way it turned out. I hope you like this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, I'd love for you to subscribe and stick around. And until next time, have a wonderful day.